Hey friends, Ragnet here, and today we're going to be starting a new project, finally. So, take a look at this, and this, and go from there. This is a 1948 Bally Carnival machine. So this I bought from a guy who lived in Oklahoma, I think Edmond, Oklahoma, somewhere up there. Uh, he has had this machine since the 1980s. He bought it at an auction for bankruptcy on a dozer service in the early 80s. I sold it in the 90s to a friend and that friend gave it back to him a couple years later because he couldn't deal, deal with it. Anyway, I saw it on Craigslist or Facebook, I forget. Let me look. It was on Facebook Marketplace in Clinton, Oklahoma. So the dude met me at a Walmart in Dallas because he needed to come down anyway and I just paid for his gas. Uh, I got it for like 250 bucks, which probably overpaid for. The serial number is 140 and 140. So we know for a fact this hasn't worked since the early 80s. And the main problem is it has this hole in the glass up here, which let uh, critters in. So what you're seeing is in fact fecal matter and it sure shit smells like fecal matter. So um, it looks fairly complete. We may need, well, we'll need some significant work. I don't know about this play field. It's not gonna be perfect, but hopefully it'll be playable. Um, oh. The wind picked up and blew my fan over. Plunger. It's got problems. The ball lift kind of works. I have not opened it yet. But you can see it doesn't look... Oh, there's paper back there. It doesn't look terrible. Um, on the inside of the cabinet, it stinks, but it doesn't look too bad. The door is back in there somewhere as is the other back box mount. So it is gonna need a little cabinet work. Uh, I think it's just dirty. I think if we vacuum it out and wipe it off with some naphtha, most of this crap will come off. So, yeah, here's the state of it, obviously. It doesn't look, like the wood doesn't look terrible up here. Hopefully that'll clean up to at least it's one color. I don't know, I'm probably dreaming, but we'll try it. The worst part is right in here. Right there, and that's actually an insert, so we may have to obviously replace that. Some of this wood, I don't know, it's lifted right here. Maybe we can inject some glue in there and just flatten it back down, clean it up. I mean, look at them balls. They probably haven't moved in 40 years. So here's the door. Obviously it's been stripped. 6,328 plays. Whether that's 100,000, I don't know, but I would doubt it. There's the other part of that. Oh my God, that stinks. Springs, the power wire. There's a little fecal matter in there. Let's see what that paper is. I don't know. That's probably not too this. He had it in his shop and used it as a table for about 30 years. But there's the other piece that goes here. So that, that looks like a factory. Oops, it's not even, but it looks like the glue was even stuck. So, the cabinet looks pretty decent. Hopefully it'll clean up and brighten up a little bit. The worst part is the top here where they were using it as a table. So we'll kind of sand that down a little bit, clean it up and just clear coat the cabinet to keep it from getting any worse. 
So the back glass on this, let's see if I can find a picture because it's upstairs. All right, you can kind of see, it's not terrible, but it's definitely seen better days. So the guy, I don't know if it was this guy or someone else had clear coated it with polyurethane, I believe. And it just looks nasty. So this is interesting. You trust me when I say this says July 25th, 1994. So, oops. Um, See what's in here. Schematics. So I actually asked them, Pinball Resource, if they had one of these. And they did not. They didn't have anything to do with this game. 10th Annual Pinball Extravaganza, Rosemont, Illinois, 1994. It's actually pretty expensive. $65 for 1994. Oh, and the instruction manual. They didn't have this either. I'm going to have to look on the pinball database to see if it's up there. I think I looked and I couldn't find it. Pinball resource. Oh, rubber ring kits. Direct. Oh, direct. Oh, this must have been right around the time they bought Gottlieb. Same as the back of that. Here's some part. Okay. Oh. Parts prices and stuff. Steve has done an excellent job of keeping everything affordable. New stuff. This must have been before he turned on his website. New displays, you can drool at those. Anyhow, so that's great to have, obviously. Put something on there so it doesn't blow away. Okay, so there's this. This is completely gummed up. Yeah, so I bought this a while ago. It's been sitting in my garage because it stinks. So let's take the back door off, turn this around and see the state of it in there. So as with all the machines from this era, it's just pretty simple. Um, you get some, these wires here going to something that mounts there. I'm not sure what the hell that is. Um, probably a bell or something. I don't know. I'll have to look because I did not notice that. Hold relay. Well, there you go. I don't know what that does. I'll have to look. So there's this. That works. There you go. But yeah, this completely seized up here. As is this one. Oops. That won't move at all. So 
Sounds good. Um, there's fuses. Looks like they're all intact, but we'll have to check the values because I doubt that's a three amp right there. That's way too big. Um, if I'd guess, this is the power wire, which is awesome. We'll have to check that out, see where that goes. This doesn't stink. This just smells musty. It doesn't smell like rat pee. Um, yeah, other than that missing, which hopefully we can find a new one or see what the hell that's supposed to do. Looks good. All right, I'm, I'm scared to do it, but I gotta take this off and see what's in here. I don't think these are right, obviously, because you would never be able to get to that number 10 to bump it. Um, as with this stuff, I guess you could from the bottom. These flippers are not the correct flippers. Obviously, they don't say. That one looks like it's for the other side, and that one just. Actually, they may just be switched around. But. I'm gonna have to look at a flyer. See what this is supposed to look like. But these are all passive bumpers. Does have flippers though, so that's cool. All right, let's take this off, slide this broken glass out, and hopefully we won't die. All right, so you can see this is old school glass. It's not tempered. Maybe the original. So they chipped the corner off, and it just let mouse mouses in. Damn, that sinks. I should have taken the glass off, but left it in here. Well, I figured that'd be hard or flaky, but that's harder than a rock. Take that off there to get the plate filled out. All right, so I got to take these screws out and figure out how to get the plate filled up. We can look under it. All right, got the plate filled out. Open the cash box. It has a bunch of rubbers in it and screws and stuff. So, see where all those go to. There's random, actually pretty stretchy. Um, it's not too terrible. The cabinet itself stinks, but it's not like the overwhelming, I'm gonna pass out stinks. But you can see that, which I think it is urine or, I don't know what the hell that is. Because it's everywhere. Maybe. I don't know. We'll clean that off, though. Like I said, the cabinet itself is dirty, but... I mean, there's Jones plugs for the play field. Not the best shape. This one's going to be a challenge. It looks like it's mostly here. Tilt. Bent so you can't ever tilt. Kick off or whatever here. It's completely seized up. I don't know exactly what the hell this is for. This is probably your oh your 
That might be your lock relay that they took out when they, you know, so it would either return the coin or keep it. Flippers. This has obviously been repaired at some point. See, this is from Piss. This flipper looks like it's one of these has been replaced. I'm gonna guess it's this one. Oh, there's a not sure what the hell that one does. Probably so you can't start it without the cash box in there, but it's completely seized up. Tilt bob. Your ball lift. Plunger. I think that needs help. Oh, this one's giving me a damn headache. All in all, pretty good shape. Once we clean it out and vacuum it, uh, won't be too bad. Oops. Playfield, on the other hand, is another story. There's our relay bank. That's actually the first thing. Utility relay is the first thing I've seen that actually works. Relay one. I mean, look how much stroke that has on it. That's awesome. All right, two, three, four, five. And then this is your ball lift, which just manually resets all your relays. Those are actually pretty clean, comparatively. So then it's got the resistors, which are pretty intense. Propulsion in super bonus. So one third, one quarter, one half. I don't know what that means switch that went here at one point. Common feed for coin counter step up coil. So when you push it, it also steps up your coin counter and that's not very good. And so that's probably a Oh, that's, your, that's one of the flippers, or that's both of the flippers. That's cool. So it's a single, single thing that's had a issue at one point in its life. Because it's, there's no in the strokes. Someone must have held that on long enough to light it on fire. So these are interesting. That's your bumpers. Another relay bank, coin relay, count relay. How'd those get reset? Oh, they're just on and off, I guess. Okay. And this is, no idea. Although one of the wires is missing from both of them. That's completely seized up too, as is this one. Coin counter unit. This is missing a lot of wires. This one could be a interesting your bowl over switches. 
seem to be okay. Yeah, big Jones plug. Not terrible. And this is the one that was plugged into that thing we showed a minute ago. Put a towel into this. Insert, insert. That one looks like it's been replaced. It's completely, completely, oh, it does have an end stroke. So this one, it might just be squished together to where it won't move. Anyway, ball lifts. Not bad, actually. So, pretty fun project. Pretty challenging friggin' project, if I'm being honest. So, we may end up replacing the coils. these mechs will clean up, which they should. Figure out where all these wires are for. That goes to that, obviously, your hold relay. Which I wonder if that's necessary, it's hard to say. To operate with shutter, move, stop, bracket, down, one half inch, extra holes are drilled. So I wonder what that's for. Be one of the, I don't know, no gambling devices or something. Hmm. Well, you gotta love the speaker wire, assuming that's your power. All right, well, video's probably gone on long enough. Let me know what you think. And we'll start working on this, clean her up and get her, we'll make it sing, make it pretty again, maybe get a new pinball or two. All right, well, wish me luck, keep it real, we'll see you next time, thanks for watching.